London grappling, doing a workout, a little sweat, just staying loose and staying ready, you know? Good vibe here, and it's lovely to get out of the hotel as well and, and just, like, feel a little bit of that outside world, you know? The fight week can be a long week staying inside a hotel. Bam Bam shows up to fight, so he's, he's not looking to score points and stay safe. He wants to fight. I'm the same way. I always try to finish my fights. I go in there, usually get the fight to the ground, and, and finish my fights. So that's why I think it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. We'll see. I'll be looking to finish anyway. I've been training with Casey for years, and like, this is by far the best I think she's ever been. I don't think anybody works harder or is more dedicated to the sport than she is, you know, and it shows in fights. You literally, she's one of those athletes that you have to tell to like chill out, like, hey, you can't do six workouts every day, so seven days a week. I don't think a lot of people realize how good she is. I think this weekend people might start to pay attention. I feel great. I had the UFC PI every single day, working on my knee to get me back into good shape. I'm loving the feel. I think I'm getting energy from being in the UK and being on a massive card like this, which is something I've really wanted. And obviously watching the first two London cards, I was barely able to walk at that point from my ACL, so I knew that I had to be on this card. Super special for me to get on this and have my family coming from Scotland, so yeah, I'm stoked about it. Oh, it was great. She threw that left leg up, which we've been working, to be fair, and uh, she smoked me with it and my hands weren't up, and that's kind of what we're expecting here, so that uh, was good times. Sorry. Did that hurt? Yeah. <laughs> She's always hit hard, but genuinely, since the knee surgery and building back up and getting her back to form, she has hit harder than she's ever hit before. She's fast, she's sharp, uh, punches are straight. Everything's firing, you know, full cylinders. I'm going to go in there on Saturday night and get a finish over Jennifer Maya and then hopefully a top nice. five opponent from there in a big year. As I said, this is my time and I'm ready to prove it to everybody. It's going to be an impressive performance and then the rest of the year you're going to have to wait and see. We're on the Thames River boat here. We got on at Canary Wharf, headed to the London Eye, kind of seeing a little bit of all the sights in London, you know, so one of the a local told us that this was the, you know, a good tour to be able to see everything. You know, they're not telling us anything really, but uh, it's still we get to see it all. It's a great experience. How you feeling, Paul? How you feeling? Oh yeah, good. You a little squirmy over there? Trying to get my Being able to to fight, you know, for a living and be able to travel the world doing it, it's amazing. You know, thank God for uh, blessing me with the skills of these hands to, to put on people, you know, and the, and the UFC for uh, giving me the platform and, and, you know, being able to be here and, and travel the world. Again, a great opportunity, a blessing, a real blessing. We've been wrestling a lot for this camp. We're going to get back to the the natural, the my other job, my main gig, clock cleaner, master clock cleaner. And uh, Saturday night, be cleaning that gunner clock. I've always been one of those guys who's been here to challenge myself, who's been wanting to test myself against the best. If you have what it takes to beat me, but well, you gotta test it and I'm gonna give you everything. And this Gunner matchup came up, let's do it. You know, I'm gonna prove to them all, show them I'm the better wrestler, I'm gonna out grapple them, exchange with them, and that'd be a big mistake for him. So, it's gonna be good. yeah, it's got the tail on it. I'm here to be the best version of myself. And by doing that, I gotta take on everybody. Smell that and then buy a salad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. Just watch for bones. Oof. Look at that. It's good. Now we got a picture to post. Boom. press conference from Magazine London in London, England. UFC 286 is live from the O2 Arena this Saturday night.
This is a question for Leon Edwards. London, what's up? Let's go! <laughs> Yesterday at the media day, Kamaru said he wondered what you've done in two fights to prove you can beat him. I'm curious what your response is to that. Put my shin across his head. What the f <laughs> Kamaru, when you hear that, I'm curious about the last fight. Do you think it was a mistake you made or a bit of skill that he did that won that fight? No, I don't think that. I think uh, there's no such thing as a mistake, you know. It was, uh, you know, a learning experience, you know, an oversight by myself, but we correct that, we get back on the horse and do what greatness requires. And the question for the champion, Leon, as well. Um, a lot of talk about the altitude in the rematch. You're back at home now in UK soil. Um, you feel like it's going to be a completely different fight because of that? Yeah, 100%. Technically, and like I said, altitude not affecting me. Um, what was the excuse for the first fight? Was the excuse for the, head, the head kicking up? I dropped my head. There's no excuse. There was no it, excuse. Right, Beautiful it, technique. It, it my is, head it, came it, down it. and you landed it. What was your excuse for the three rounds before that? Getting your head beat in. Getting get your head beat in. in. Your, get coach had the, the your coach had to back get you. Held, held Come, on, the Rocky. Come on, Rock. This man Come had never worse. I left Come head on, Rock. On scale, not you one. bully you, son. Not one mark on the face. You get bullied, son. Leon, question to your right. The O2 sold out in minutes. What does that say about the standard of mixed martial arts in Britain compared to boxing, which is struggling to sell out this arena? Um, I think mixed martial arts is growing massively, you know, like since the, the, the headshot, it's been crazy. Um, <laughs> the, gyms, the gyms have been busy. Um, the fans are excited to have it back in the UK and that's the reason why it sold out that fast. And I am proud to be adopted by the UK and I'm proud to be Jamaican also. Um, so, yeah, Saturday night, I'm representing for both UK and Jamaica, and I'm going to put on a show for both of them, you know. Rafa, about two years ago, we spoke, and I remember you told me you didn't want to be rushed, and you wanted more time in the cage. But unfortunately, because of all of your great performances, you're now in a co-main event in a pay-per-view. How does that make you feel? I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking like that, but... But... What I can do, bro? I'm... <laughs> I'm just too good, you know, that's why I'm going too, too, too fast, bro. Question for Justin Gaethje. What type of fight are you expecting from Rafael on Saturday? I'm expecting a fight that's going to blow the roof off this place. Um, give you guys a... Uh, he's the perfect dance partner. It's exactly what I dream of uh, when I dream of stepping in there. And you guys get to enjoy this and we're going to beat the each other, all of us. Uh, we deserve respect and it is what it is. Stage. We're going to stare these folks off. Don't forget, ceremonial way is tomorrow. Thank you, Jimmy. Good luck. The added the new confidence. You know, the thing about that is it's not natural. You haven't built that over the years and years of you working. So you feel in love for the first time, you're feeling all these things, but it's false confidence. And it's my job to go in there and expose that on Saturday morning.